Hello, my name is Beth. Your doctor asks that you be shown this short video because they think that a research study might be right for you. We are studying different treatments for people who have recovered from an episode of diverticulitis. This video is to help you decide if you want to be a part of the study. First, let's talk about diverticulitis. Diverticulitis is caused by inflammation of a pouch that forms on the side of the colon. Inflammation is a reaction of the body to a place of injury and causes pain, swelling, and redness. Diverticulitis is a common problem facing two to three million Americans each year. Even though it is common, doctors still have important questions about the best way to treat people who have recovered from an episode of diverticulitis. Repeat episodes occur in about one in four people. Some people find that the risk of recurrence or worry about the future episodes gets in the way of their quality of life. Other people are bothered by abdominal pain and symptoms that remain after they have recovered from an episode of diverticulitis. Treatment includes either a surgical procedure or medical management. Surgery removes the diseased part of your colon in an operation called a partial colectomy. Medical management may use diet and lifestyle changes, supplements, and medications. This research study is to find out whether your quality of life and symptoms will improve more with surgery or medical management. Doctors who specialize in diverticulitis do not know the answer to this question, and they need your help to answer it. While your doctor thinks you are a good fit for this study, you do not have to participate, and no matter what you choose, your doctor will work to help you get better. If you agree to participate in the study, a computer will randomly assign you to surgery or medical management. You will have an equal chance of each treatment. Studies like this, called randomized trials, are done when we need the best possible evidence to help doctors and patients decide what is best for them. You should know that both treatments are commonly used and both are safe. Neither approach is experimental. Let's talk more about the two treatments. First, we'll explain a bit more about surgery. During surgery, the part of the colon where you had diverticulitis will be removed and the colon will be reconnected. Most patients spend three to five days in the hospital to recover. During this time, doctors and nurses will work to control your pain and make sure you're able to eat and drink before you go home. As with any major surgical procedure, there are risks that can occur. The most serious problems may include infections or bleeding, leaking from the intestine where part of the colon was removed, a colostomy where the colon is brought out to the skin to drain into a bag, damage to areas near the colon, such as the tube that carries urine, and rarely death. More common complications include infection where the skin was cut and a longer than expected time spent in the hospital for your bowels to recover their function. Despite the risk of complications, this surgery is considered safe and is one of the accepted approaches to this condition. Next, let's talk about medical management. It may include exercise and a high fiber diet supplements of medical grade fiber and probiotics, prescription medications which include antibiotics or anti-inflammatory pills that specifically target the colon. We think of these as tools in a medical management toolbox. All the tools in the toolbox have been shown to improve symptoms or to lower the chance of recurrent episodes of diverticulitis in some people. These treatments do not work in all patients. Randomized trials have been done with some showing they work and others showing no change. Your doctor will talk with you more about these treatments and help you decide what may be right for you. All of these treatments are safe and are accepted approaches to this condition, although some insurance companies may not pay for all of the treatments. The risks of medical management are small. A treatable form of diarrhea called C. diff can occur when antibiotics are used for medical management, but this is rare. While medical management is very low risk and may improve symptoms, we don't know whether it can prevent another attack or recurrence of diverticulitis. Surgery is more likely to prevent recurrence, but is more risky than medical management. 
What this study is trying to answer is which of these two treatments has greater impact on patients' quality of life and symptoms. Now that I've explained the two commonly used ways to treat people who have recovered from an episode of diverticulitis, partial colectomy, or medical management, I would like to tell you about our research study. Let's talk about what being in our research study would mean for you. Patients like you at dozens of leading hospitals across the nation are being asked to participate. If you agree, a computer will randomly assign you to surgery or medical management. Then members of our research team will ask you to answer some questions about the treatment you received and how you're feeling every three months for up to three years. You can choose whether to give your answers on paper, online, or with your phone. Results of this study will help other patients in your community and around the world make choices about treatment with better information. For the results to apply to people like you, studies need to include people with characteristics like yours. We are hoping to include all kinds of patients with diverticular disease to better understand how different groups of people respond to their treatment. It is particularly important to have people in this study who are often left out of research studies, such as women, older people, people with disabilities, and those who identify as racial and ethnic minorities. This is the best way to help inform all people with diverticulitis as they try to make the best decision about surgery or medical management. We know your time is valuable and the study will pay you for answering questions every three months. We will also provide you with a copy of the study results once the study is completed. This study is funded by the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute a research center that was created by the government in 2010. It is not being funded by corporations and none of your data will be shared beyond the purposes listed in the consent form. Your doctor is not being paid based on you being in the study and gains nothing if you join, other than helping to answer these important questions for future patients. We thank you for your time and we hope you will consider being a part of this study. No matter what you choose, we wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you.